Welcome back to Lembus Company Daily Mirror Dungeon. Exciting day because Canto 6 Part 2 releases in just two hours from posting this video. Exciting, exciting stuff. But yeah, so funny, funny bit this time. Um, we're gonna make use of the new Dead Rabbit Merceau and we're gonna create our own all-star baseball team as best as we can using the sinners. The, the, the key word here is as best as we can because it is not very good. This is our team. Um, you know, he's got a baseball bat. He's got a baseball bat. Those are the obvious ones. Uh, these two have batons. And they're basically baseball bats, right? Especially this one. Like, the skill three basically swings like a baseball. Like, just look at that pose. You can tell he's just doing, like, the like the home run strike. But, yeah. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see how well this goes. I don't know. <laughs> it's a funny bit. With potentially, uh, potentially good results. I don't know. It's not gonna be great. That's it. Um, yeah, I'm not bothering me on three hard because I'll do it when the new ID is released tomorrow. Um, I don't feel the need to get the rewards as soon as possible because I'm already leveled 60 on the battle pass, right? There's no reason to get the 20 levels sooner rather than later. It doesn't. It doesn't help me very much at all. <laughs> I at least think I get some protection from that. That's that's heartwarming. Uh. Yeah, these, none of these guys are very great at dealing damage. Is also a big issue. I think I also I had two options for Rodian, so I could have used uh, LCCB Rodian and Zvi Rodian. I decided to go for LCCB though, since I didn't want to double up and Zvi batons, Zvi bats. But yeah, um... God. This is gonna get run, yeah. That's alright. It happens. I've got egos of nothing else. We'll, we'll try building at resource so we can see those, like, bosses later on and stuff, right? We'll be able to kill them that way. But yeah, look at that. Home run. I suppose this is what a home run would feel like had I been a big city baseball player. It is! You, you understand so well, Samja. You understand the bit so well. That's why, that's why Sam's just the goat. He, he commits to the bit. Um, yeah, we're slowly killing these guys. Those two are staggered, you know, we'll do some decent damage. The double suppress kills that guy. Nice. Heathcliff. Will Heathcliff skill 2's kill that guy? Nice, it does. So now it's you left, you heal a little bit, but everyone's going for you, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah, 6 turns with the takedown 4 K Corp Bong, you guys. On floor 1. Uh, not really great. Not, not really great. Uh, but at least, at least we got a home run, right? That's what matters. You need to try not to strike out. Yeah, I'm taking this path so I can go for this blunt fight. Uh, since we've got almost exclusively blunt, I think he or Merso's skill too is peers, but I think otherwise we've got all blunt. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit. It's a, it's a little bit funny. Um, been a very unfortunate kind of funny, right? That's how I'm looking at it, at least. You never skill with broken emotional support. What do you mean? You're you're gonna cheer our song whenever we get a home run, right? That's all. That's all we need, Sam. That's all we need. Da 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 da. Charge. Well, so we do could theoretically get some tremor stuff going. I guess we could theoretically get rupture stuff going, but not really because we don't have any rupture count on him except for like, what is it, two on Clash with the skill two? It's not great. And LCC Rodian didn't have any status effects in the slightest, so she doesn't contribute towards anything. Yeah, so tremor's probably our best bet. I think I started with... I started with... Blood, sweat, and tears, and Nikki never So that's something. 
I should have paid to start with just a tier 4 and try and but I don't have too much. It would, be, it would be wholesome to get, you know, that consistent tremor bursting off on a team like this, though. That's for sure. Especially when these Kigar guys are so annoying, just healing and healing and healing. Nice. Also nice. And also that nice. one. There we go, fight completed. Now we get a shop event into the boss of the first floor. See what are we looking for? More tremor stuff, probably. Anything that increases our damage is also really nice to have. Uh you could get a skill change. I don't I don't think your skills are anything particularly you no know, really. We'll get you know a skill three though, sure. Since it's giving us the option. Uh, we'll take for his hammer. We've got a lot of single coin stuff, so you know, Grand Man's Stake isn't the worst idea, but I'll pass, I think. Mm, lethal Graph Milepost. Solid. And let's give it one more spin. One more spin. One more spin. Uh, Bloody Gadget, sure thing. That hits Merso and just Teeth Cliff, right? They're the ones who have lost, so it's nice to get some damage up. And then if we upgrade, uh, but he got it to plus plus, we can hit both of them with it, which could be nice. I'm just giving them both like a bunch of like damage up every once in a while. Or what? It's two damage up. I think it's. Or no, it's three damage people. I think it becomes four at plus, and it becomes two targets that gain four at plus plus, right? I think that's how it works. It would be nice to get some damage up. Going. Unfortunate first turn. Yeah, you might just instantly stagger Merso, depending on how things go there. That's not very nice. It's really not very nice, so... Uh, it's fine, though. We'll, we'll press on. Like, sure, Merso's gonna get forced staggered or whatever. It's, so be it, right? It's Merso. He'll be fine. I'm sure. Get some good damage off of that pursuance. Nice. Four nails on Heathcliff. Yeah, if this rolls heads, yeah, it really staggers. Cool. Unfortunate. He's got five plus uh, end clip nails. Yeah, and he is the person we selected first, so he's the person who gets the second skill set. Well, we get to actually. I mean, our clash is there, so that's nice. Batbash might kill. We'll see. Mercer's not taking any one side of that, so that's good. Cool, Rodion loses. Hopefully Sinclair wins. Nope. Cool. <sighs> yeah, I'll get even fanatic next turn thanks to losing that clash. That's not nice. Um, we have killed two of them already, so that's a good start, right? You two guys stand no chance whatsoever. Awesome. We'll body sack, probably. And I guess we'll just impending day for something? Sure, that'll work. Well, then, so you're gonna, you have a sphere to bleed, but you'll spend all your bleed with that skill, so that's nice. The body sack just does some damage. Buff see if you have a little bit next turn as well. Could help out. Nice. The impending day we're making use of we made use of the paralysis a little bit, but not for the actual attack, because we only need two paralysis instead of three, so that's fine. And we do some damage, it's for you, it's solid. It's something. We focus, we're focused on killing the minions right now, really. And just actually winning. Okay, that was a tail. Is it max sanity? Good job, Heathcliff. Our team. This is definitely a, this is definitely a baseball team, and not a combat team, right? Like you can kind of you can kind of just tell based on the fact that they're not very good at combat. Right? I believe in you. Nice. Smackdown should kill. Yes, okay, good. So now it's just Gita left. 
Chris, this might just straight up stagger. We're lucky. Yeah, it does kick. Cool. Which is why it was fine to have Sinclair go for the bad clash, right? Because he wasn't going to get the chance to clash. Okay. And under half, you purge your status effects or whatever it is, and we kill you. You got five fanatic. It is a good thing you are not doing anything on us this turn. There we go. First floor done. Pretty solid. And by that I mean pretty bad, but like, you know, cope. We love coping. Okay, next floor. Should I go for risky or pick a too late? I'll go for risky, why not? Well, let's take a risk, shall we? We shall, I think. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Do this. Get these guys. Uh, yeah, we'll have to ignore Master. It's fine. Get the Wrath or Essence, man. Another four Tremor Bursts. Let's go. Yeah, Smackdown does a fair bit things with it being Pierce. So that's nice. Our one non blood attack doing something for the team. And Spurs also should do decent damage, really. Compared to, like, most attacks on our team, like, yeah, it is pretty decent. Yeah, fair bit of rupture there, that's alright. We'd need to not get hit too much more, right? You're mass attacking. You're mass attacking. Okay. How's it looking? Relentless should have been that clash. Bat bash. Not as close, so I'll probably body sag that one, right? Yeah. That'll work. It looks like it's pretty safe flash wins every on everything that is in body sack. And it looks like Sinclair is going to get hit by a counter, but that's fine. Though is Heathcliff, but it won't be that big of an issue, I don't think. Not like a super strong counter. Most counters are pretty negligible. Unless you're you know, already close to being staggered, in which case, you know, it's a little rough, but I don't think we are. Um, the only counters that are bad is, of course, the uh, everything there are Inquisitors type guards. Who you know, counter your skill with the you, the actual role of the skill you hit them with. And also, you know, uh, Jun. Who I'm sure is going to get added back with Mirror Death and Four. And that'll be something else, I'm sure. Okay, now you're over a bunch of attacks and you're being mean. You're also attacking your dead ally mostly, though, so that's cool, I guess. But when you kill your dead ally, you'll probably start attacking us with that then. That's fine. I inject speed values. I don't know if it's if, if that crab's gonna kill our dead ally before we kill its dead ally. No, we killed its dead ally first. Okay, so then that one other thwack 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 will just randomly go to someone else. We'll see who. Nice. That's a stagger. So I don't have to worry about you anymore. That's it. And yeah, just gotta finish them all. You can definitely see what I'm saying though about these fights not going very fast. <laughs> Thanks to our uh, very makeshift team, our baseball team. Like the lore is like this is just like some random baseball team who's just like fallen into the mirror dungeon, right? That's that's what it feels like. It's genuinely just like a baseball team. They, they all look a little different, but that's because they're wearing, like, casual clothes right now. They're not in uh, uniform. And they're basically uniform. Maybe, this is just, maybe these guys are from the, are from the Limbus baseball near, near world. <laughs> Would go hard, I think. Would go very hard. Okay. Thorny path, sure thing. We can sell it if nothing else, right? And then, yeah, we'll do this. Boss this floor slash lock. That's calendar, right? I think so. Maybe it's got the possibility of being something else. We still don't know nearly as well as should, but yeah, it's more Kay Corp, guys. Um, this will take a little bit. If you need to do good damage on these guys, Rodium Pursuance is probably really good. Because it's actually a slash mass attack. 
especially turn one, it's gonna do a lot more than it would any other turn because it'll actually hit all three. It'll actually hit three people pretty consistently, right? Well, this turn you also three people. We'll pull it out. Yeah, I might as well. It'll be useful, that's for sure. Yeah, look at that. So duck. Just inflict like the one slot for Jilly next turn, which I guess might matter if we're gonna like skill three one of these guys with Sinclair, right? They're all basically dead though. Pursuance does so much for us. I just need to ego when you, when you know it's gonna do more damage than our normal attacks, which is very fairly frequently. I'll try not to really, like get too spammy with it, of course. I don't like being too spammy with ego most of the time, unless it's for the bit, which is fine. Um, but. Because we don't have we don't have anyone on this team with a Bobby ego, so we don't have any like funny we don't have any funny seven targets unless you count like if I had equipped Sinclair Stu, which I didn't because I have impending down instead because it's better. Let's okay, get staggered. Good stuff. This guy also gets staggered. No, almost. We'll stagger it with just our random stuff this turn. We'll probably just kill them both this turn. I think. Hopefully. We don't have too many super strong attacks going off here. But I think they should both just die, right? Yeah, Rune and Skill 3 should finish the job on this guy. It is enough damage. Yeah, even with the tails on the second plane, still good enough. There you go. Victory. Event. We'll take the stones. Why not? You need to get two heads. That's fine. That works. No way for the table, yeah. And then rest up. Uh, bloody God, Like I said, it'll be pretty solid to get the damage up on both Heathcliff and um, Merso. We'll see how worthwhile that becomes, though. Uh, more Tremor is nice. We'll take that. Boy, singing doesn't really help us too much, so I'll pass on that for now. We'll get Nixie to the original Duck Grave too, because, you know, Envy stuff. We've got some Envy stuff, so the like Heathcliff skill 1 or uh, Rodeon skill 3, right? Yeah. Well, boss time. It's probably calendar. Right? Slash and sloth. Oh, it's all, it can also be pink shoot. I think they've got the same weaknesses, don't they? For some reason. Do that. A feeble you. Sure. Let's go. Don't to do decently. It's weak to Pierce. The main guy is. I think the little guys are the ones that are weak to slash, right? Something like that. You know, the main guy and the smaller guys have different resistances. Nice. Yeah, people, the main guy, Tails, cool. Now it's gonna get enraged. It's gonna get what's what the term desirous. That's the word. Do something like, uh, something like that. Do something like that. I'm like, I probably. This should work. We'll stagger the, the big guy with the uh, Merzo skill 3, if I had to guess. It should be able to do enough. And then we had uh, Sinclair do the one side. Just so that we didn't actually clash with anything too important, right? We didn't clash with Relentless because there was a very potential chance we lost with it. I didn't know about that. Or no, it was Rodian. Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? I don't know. Whatever, whoever it was, it shouldn't matter. I didn't mean to put on the shoes, but I mean, to be honest, that was, that was autopilot for my brain. Oh, whoops. It should be fine. Well, everyone loses like 30 sanity. But like, we'll live. That's because we should just kill this guy with relative ease, so we'll lose the 30 sanity, but like, then the fight will be over. We'll get, we'll build it back up, right? That's all right. It happens. Next fight might be a little rough, but we're all starting at 15 sanity, but we'll be able to build it back. I believe.
Um, I mean, we'll probably just take Nebulizer, right? Get some poise stuff going now, out of nowhere, for the bit. It's always fun. Let's see, where's the shop? Bottom path? We'll just stick to bottom path, probably. Or we could go to all Pecatula. I like that idea. It's more ego gifts, right? And we could use any ego gift we can get our hands on. Do any ego gift we can get our grimy little mitts on to. Uh, who do we not care about? The sloth guys seem to be doing barely anything. Let me see if we gotta clash with their respective people they're going for. Switch it up, but that YouTube can't clash them. And then one of you guys need to deal with the lost guy. The other one should probably deal with, like, the lawful grip guy, right? Something like that. The neutral. Alright. Well, I'll trust you, Ego Burn. Eh? I could just mine too. Honestly, you're low sanity. It might work out. Yeah. Might do decent damage. Okay, you lose the clash. That's fine. You lose the clash. That's fine. You've got heads. You're not going to do very much damage. That's fine. I think that's fine a lot, but that's because it's relatively fine. Kills would have been better damage, but I guess it wouldn't be that much either way. Okay, you won your clash, so that's solid. You need a stagger because of it, and alongside getting some sanity up. Okay. That's over. Having a lot of favorites and stuff going on. We need to clash to get our sanity up, though, so I'm fine with the bad clashes, right? That's just how it's gonna go until we get our sanity up a little bit more, right? I'm not wearing a lot of clashes, you know, to make up for, like, the lot of clashes we lost last time, we're winning a lot of them this turn, so that's nice. Yeah, Sinclair, will you also win your clash? Yes, actually. Okay, I wasn't. I was shocked, honestly. I'll take it though. Yeah, yeah now we're in a pretty good spot. And you guys can be on killing Pegatule duty. Oops. Just to get them done and dusted, right? So it's killing should get us in. I assume these guys are like little early 40s. So we should be able to get level up from killing them. Assuming I'm correct on that front. Nice one kill for Heathcliff. Two kills for Heathcliff, and we did get Sandy from killing, so that's solid. And you don't quite kill, but I'm not sure. You can, uh... You can try winning that clash, I guess. Sure thing, that'll, that'll be your purpose. And we'll also, like, hit this guy with some random one sides, right? I feel like that, I think. Okay, that'll work. Solid. Get most of our people to decent levels of sanity, and we should be doing pretty well. Right? You won your clash. Okay, that's nice. He's about to get two more kills here. He's just getting so many kills. Oh, some and just two left. Okay. Auto damage, clash with the slowest person, and just let it rip. And yeah, he gets another kill. He killed, like, he killed almost all the Pekatula, like, himself. Like, he's finishing blow, of course. A lot of them were weakened by the others. But I think he got, like, five different, like, finishing blows. I think all of them except for one, probably. If I'm not forgetting. See, a little silly. A little bit silly. Okay. You... So the top row people are doing a fair bit of damage, we'll probably clash them. Um... 
try that. And then you can just clash this lock, I guess. This deck goes through that, goes through that, fine. Looks good enough for me. And win some clashes, you'll be to gluttony, so the rest is decent. I'm so excited for the enemy Pekatule, because we're, we're gonna see it soon, I think. We're gonna see it so soon, I'm sure. It's like, it's like, definitely do to like, show up in this canto, it makes perfect sense. Like, without a doubt. If we get, like, the enhanced Envy Pekatule before we see the normal Envy Pekatule, it'll be so funny, and I'm kind of expecting it, to be honest. You got aggro, so everyone's going for you. You can at least win that clash, that's solid. Try that. Looks good. Some decent clashes going on alongside getting a little couple hits off on like some of them we're getting we're attacking one of the people who got staggered. Oop. Okay, we're fine. We lost one coin of relentless, that's okay. We're getting a seven Faust passive on Mursa, which is funny. If he's slow as speed, he's got rupture. I don't know. Good if I'm selling comment on the mic is helping your team perform shirts. The Department of the Year trophy is almost ours. Ooh, we gotta get that trophy. So was, oh no, it's fast speed, use more damage and targets rupture when attacking with something that they're weak to. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, cool. I guess. It triggers sometimes you need to be the fast, though which actually happened fairly frequently. You've got you've actually got a four to seven speed range, it's not bad. Seems better than hers, yeah. Alright. We'll see. You know they say hashtag winning. Uh do they say that? I don't know. I don't I also don't know who they is in this situation. So um you're just gonna you're just gonna have to trust me on this that they do in fact say that. Okay. Yeah, they're still mostly alive, much to my dismay. Clash with the whack. It's a simple way to. Oh, good tails. You would have killed if you got both heads, I think, since they're weak to pierce, but that's fine. It's not like I'm keeping track or anything. Not like I'm gonna hold it against you as some sort of garage in the future. I'm gonna strangle your parents. Doesn't really work as an insult, does it? Not an insult, but like a. Okay, right, you know? Okay. Sinclair uh, does win his clash, that's odd. What is that? Nice battery, but I might have it's, it's plugged in, what? Huh? I thought it's plugged in. What do you mean it's low? Okay, it's, it seems actually plugged in now, right? I think so. I'll just leave that on the side so I can keep an eye if things seem to go wrong. Okay. That's alright, 6% battery. Um... I guess just to be safe... Okay, I stop recording and start recording again. Just to make sure that if I lose footage or something, we at least have like a solid however length of time that is at the start. You know, take Lois Star for the bit. I'll blunt for the bit. All right. Mm. Keith's gonna get another skill three. That sounds cool. 
Yeah, nothing else good. That's fine. We press on. Begin to vent into a normal fight. Into a rest stop. And the boss of this floor is Headless Ichthys. Okay. Big fish. Might be rough for us who, you know, have enough trouble winning normal clashes as is. Fish is rough for clashes a lot of the time. Okay. We've got egos, though. We can always just use egos to the greatest of our abilities, right? But that'd work out well. Or the new turn into a dominating there, nice to see. Thanks to the slight gluttony resonance, I presume. We'll take it. Cool, that's decent damage, I guess. It's also decent for green spear, because we got green spear plus plus, so every time we land a tremor attack or a gluttony attack, it is just a bunch of tr like tremors scattered around the enemies. Like, do either of you inflict tremor count? I guess that's a good question. You don't. You don't? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. That's fine. So Nixie Dovers is their only source of Tremor count on this team, so that's a little rough. So we effectively get Tremor for five turns, and then we basically cannot use it for the rest of the fight unless we, you know, do it same turn. Which isn't very easy to manage too well. Right? So yeah, um, we're on a bit of a Tremor timer. Down four would be super good for us, wouldn't it? I guess we'll hope we can see that in the next shot, but... It's, it's all down to chance whether or not we will, right? Oh, I guess we can inflict Tremor with Envy attacks, too, so that's solid. And, like, we need to prioritize Tremor, then, when we do not have enough Tremor synergy to warrant it. Alright, we'll just focus on killing these guys. And then they might get Tremor a fair bit in the process, but our only Tremor versus the skill 3 for both of our two Tremor IDs. Also, a lot of Egos, though. There's so many Tremor versus Egos that it's, it's comical. I don't think Heathcliff has any, but like Rodion has Pursuance, and you know, she also has Rhyme Shank and Slime Shank. Uh. Is there any Pursuance servers? I think so, right? I don't know. If nothing else, she does have the Rhyme Shank. Is this one not Traverse? Okay, this one is a Traverse. Merso is a Traverse, though. I think that's what I was thinking of. Oh, uh, but yeah, it's still fine that... Because she's still got Traverse in the form of her... Both of her Tappy Egos do burst Tremor. Of course, Slime Shank is a lot better than Rhyme Shank, um, for the sake of it, but... Slime Shank is, you know, the Tremor version of Rhyme Shank. I just don't even- I don't even feel like- it takes me so long to remember the name F Resident Corrosion. I think I'm just gonna stick with Slime Shank. And I'm gonna hope you guys understand what I mean when I say that, right? As far as the Hongu F Resident Corrosion, I'll probably still call that F Resident Corrosion, but like, in what situation do I have to talk about Hongu F Resident Corrosion, right? Okay, this I need to be heal up a little bit, but otherwise we should just heal the clear this turn. Cool. True. But yeah, the rest of the time, uh, we can't really do much of anything here. We could upgrade something. Lowest star upgrade? Sure. I'll have less than 0% SP, do more damage. It's a funny idea. We could just go with full corrosion, corrode into something funny, and then just kill everyone, right? Okay. Let us think this through. You can clash the body, but that's all you can clash with. I want a body sack it honestly, get some like stuff going. Not a bad idea. If our Clash lose a Blick Tremor, mm -hmm. Clash Tail Whip, uh, then you can suppress this or something. Right? That'll do, that'll work for something, right? Okay. 
we'll roll with this. Looks solid enough. We're winning some clash. We get some paralysis off of this one, so even if we don't stagger and we don't, a little other attack that our arm is going for shouldn't do too much. Okay, cool. We're neutral to slash at least, I think. And that resistant, I can't tell. Mirror Dungeon makes it harder to tell because point nine counts as resisted, right? I think it's there now. We might just resist slash. Yeah, probably. Yeah, body sack time. We got our little box going. That's always solid. Dragon for every damage is fine. Uh, we'll, go, we'll, we'll go all out in the body this turn, I think. And by that, I mean we're gonna do like nothing by going all out, because our all out, our our definition of all out is really bad compared to you know the average all out definition, right? I just don't want to get blood laser, but I'm going to get blood laser no matter what I think, so that's fine. You take some damage, that's fine. It's Zai Sinclair. Like he'll you can take some damage. And he'll be fine. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm also taking Geek of a little bit, but mostly Zai Sinclair, right? Yeah, try that. We're gonna ego a little bit. Pursuance seems very useful right about now. So does like a, another body sack? Does body sack win these? Maybe. Cool. I'm fine with a maybe at this point, honestly. Let's roll with it. Why not? You know, you gotta sometimes you just gotta you just gotta roll with it. Paralysis as well. That's actually true for making it so we're basically guaranteed to win these. Okay, that's cool. Pray for you so that you shall surely break as you do. I'm smackdowning like one of the arms, I think. Just to win that clash. Okay, it looks like we've also broken the tremor. I think we tremor burst the body, actually. If I had to guess. And then got stagger, which is nice to see. Yeah, we get the stagger plus too, so that's smart. You get the whack, we clash with Sinclair a little bit. Nice. Yeah, we can attack the body up plunge this turn, but stagger plus means we're going to do a fair bit of damage. You're attacking Sinclair a little bit. Uh, he's fine though. He's got protection. He's got protection as well, that's true, thanks to the... Uh, thanks to Pursuance. Yeah, this is a turn we're just gonna go all out there. Flash lose gain protection. Actually, it'd be nice to lose a flash with that for even more protection. Because then it'll have five protection with 50% damage reduction. Which would be pretty solid, that's for sure. Yeah, body gets destroyed. Shouldn't have gone all out on it, but that's fine. Yeah, we lose a clash. That's, that's four protection. Oh, yeah, three. I don't know why. It still means we're taking, like, no damage. We're taking a lot of attack power down next turns on him, but, like, that's pretty fine, right? Oh, no, he's got three attack... Oh, no, he's got six attack power down this turn. Oh, no, he's gonna lose his clash, but a shame. It would be a shame if he lost a clash and gained even more protection. He's actually very good attack this turn, so it doesn't matter how much he does it now. That's fine, then. We'll let him get hit. Actually, we should probably let him get some aggro this turn, if I'm being honest. Let's see, we're going on that arm. The tail of... Can we deal with the tail a little bit? Smack down it? Sure thing. And we'll try this. Cool. My leg's been staggered. Good stuff. It's just going to be the sake of just slowly beating down these things. Trying to help us at all anymore, simply because it's going to run out next turn, and these things just have barely any stagger thresholds, right? These limbs. They get staggered once, then you can't stagger them again. No matter 
lot, which is unfortunate. Upheaval wins these, nice. Get some sandy back, stack with the other on leg. I always say arms, because they look more like arms than, than they look like legs to me. Because they've got, like, fingers, right? I feel like that makes sense. Can't redirect that very much, can we? Oh, that's fine. You pursuing you can't get that school. I'll counter that, pursuance that, and we'll just, like, attack you a bunch, I guess? Sure. I'll do something. In case you're wondering, I'm countering with Merso so that I can offset the mass attack so that it hits all three parts with pursuance. Because that sounds pretty useful to have, right? I think so. Nice. Pretty solid damage there. You could hit a little bit. You shouldn't get staggered though. Yeah. And you get to counter now, so that's cool. Doesn't do a lot, but uh, that's fine. Wasn't expecting it to do a lot. You know, strong strike turn. Okay, you know that 60 damage. It's not. It's not really that strong, but we can pretend it is. We're gonna get hit a bunch here, but that's fine. You die this turn. Without a doubt. Even if we take a bunch of damage in the process, you die. So I'm fine with that. Well, that one's kills. So never mind. Good job. We don't get hit by any of your one sides, because we won the speed, guys. Let's go. That is class. On to the final floor with our, you know, makeshift all star homeless people team. Um, I feel like a rupture, rupture count, that's a cool idea. Um, I don't know what's better here, honestly. I'll just take damage bad for more damage. I don't think we're actually going to maintain rupture at all, because I think every single one of Merso's skill only has burned, like, a single one of the coins. So it really, so, you know, Thunder Branch does not help us at all. So it's not battery, it's just a damage up for everyone, basically. Especially your envy attacks, which we do have a fair bit of. So if you're taking SP, it happens. Let's see if I can do this. We've got some Pierce attacks from SmackDown this turn, so that's nice. Those Thrain Mermaids are not hard, they're just vaguely annoying for us, right? Because they'll just do SP damage and stuff, but like, not enough for it to be like that big of a deal, but like, it'll just be vaguely annoying. Four Paralysis next turn on Heathcliff is pretty rough, though. I only lose the flash here, so it's actually six paralysis this turn on Heath, but cool. Um, you know, you know, you know why, honestly. Just let it loose. That's actually, that one's actually a bad idea. Oh, gosh. Which is good enough, good enough. Yeah, just counted there, I guess. We trigger strife, so... At least HP gains plus two counter. Sure. Pitch Nice. Turn around a bunch of random people, thanks for being a gluttony attack. I know, we've been paralyzed. It'd be a shame if we made the use most of our paralysis. It'd be a shame if we got staggered there, so it's a good thing we didn't. I'm sorry, it's only, it's only a three. Target. ADD is, but you know, it's nice to get the tails. I see. Yeah, um, corrosion. That's right. Why do I bother? <laughs> Alright, we're fine. 
You don't have paralysis this turn. That's good at least. Okay, I was getting hit a little bit, that's fine. You get some strong strikes off, which will be pretty strong though, against these guys that are staggered, right? Yeah, killing that, yeah, that's nice. You lose some sandy when you kill them, but that's fine. It's worth it, because I mean, we're gonna have to kill them no matter what, so we're gonna lose the sandy. Oh, I do not want to auto win rate. Who do you think I am? Nice, okay. Seems pretty solid. Victory we get. That's good. That's good. Um what is next? Do we get an event and then some more normal fights? Yeah, event, normal fight, risky fight, event. The boss is either Chromer or Fairy Long Legs. Oh you! We might actually, we're getting your egos today, so that's cool. Might see you in the actual dungeon, I guess. Or in the actual, in the actual Canto Part 2, I mean. Outside of the dungeon? I don't know. It seems possible, but like, there's only three avenues uh, as far as we know this Canto. So they probably want to save them all for the dungeon, right? I don't know if just take top hat. Don't know why I feel like doing for a slash risky encounter, right? Might be a bad idea to go for a risk encounter this floor. We could just all die, potentially, right? Okay, we're getting mass attacked. That's fine. It happens. Some some days you just get mass attacked. We'll just have to hope the unclashable mass attacks we have to take next turn um, target mostly the crabs themselves. Cool. It's a lot of rupture camp, which is rough, but we'll then I'm sure. Okay, yeah, we can crash that. Okay, so we're set. Okay. We'll take it. We'll very much so take it, yeah. Solid Sinclair gets countered. It's worth it, though, because we get to beat the mass attack. As we beat down these crabs, we got some smackdowns, some pierce attacks. Always nice to see. Okay. Classic, classic wise I their moment, right? Okay, we're fine. We are, we're chilling, we're chilling. She'll tackle. You're actually tackling your allies, so that's nice to see. Love to see it. It's a crabby crab world. It's their passive states, so though it happens, right? These crabs do not care for each other's livelihoods. The fools. Little do they know that if they just unionize and form a crab baseball team, they'd be in a much better spot. How foolish indeed. Nice. Uh, you mass attacking a little bit? Yeah, you sure are. I mean, you got some upheaval. We get some lust raises in this thing that we got going on here, so that's solid. Should make it so the upheavals especially will do a lot of damage, right? I think we've got another upheaval to kill that guy, finish him off, right? Yeah, nice. There's not too many crabs left now. That was the that's the big one done and dusted, right? Well, that's pretty nice to see. Suppress the staggers. And baton kills there, so it's just that one left. Yeah, cool. uh, Finish them off with a little bit of a smackdown. Right. There we go. On the next fight, oh, I'll just go for the normal fight. I could take the risky encounter. I don't think we really need the EU gift though, right? So this works.
동랑님 지시로 응원용 파일을 사오긴 했지만 여건상 드시기 힘드시기에 제가 대신해서 먹어드리겠습니다. 우리 Not nice. Only the nine can do some damage. It's not gonna do lock if we're gonna get heads, but that's fine. Pangume i l g o g n m e u a s m i d a e g a m a n a t o s h e s y a g o s a d e o u m o n a l t a r a m n o n t i a n a s k a s o n o Weakness is written right here. Yoki! Yeah, yeah, it's solid. It's only a 16 on heads, so like it's not it's not great, but it's it does enough, right? Ooh, there's a stagger on heat there. That's unfortunate. Luckily we've staggered quite a few of them as well. So we can we can actually clash everyone this turn. Okay, we'll take it. A little bit of a rough clash, I'll probably throw on like the pursuance here just to do some more damage. It'll make sure so that we can kind of cut through these guys pretty easily. Or blunt through these guys pretty easily. Faster. Yeah. Bonk. Can reverse them as well. We got the crit there, which is very nice. Very overkill, that's for sure. But very nice indeed. So there's just one left. There's two left. This one's staggered. The other one was staggered last turn, so it's unstaggered now. That's fine. Just they're panicking and unable to do very much of anything, right? Solid. The beating it here much music because the fight ended, but it was gonna go like no, 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 and go off, right? We get a shop here. Let's see if we get anything good. Oh, that's more tremor. We'll take it. We'll get Sinclair and other skills. That's more tremor burst, which is nice. Um, and we just move on, I think, right? Yeah. The fight here will be interesting, I'm sure. Can't upgrade that. We're a little short. That's unfortunate, but that's fine. What do we upgrade then? Uh. Upgrade ornamental horseshoe for more poise. That works with Nebulizer a fair bit. And we'll see. Will it be Chromer or will it be Fairy Long Legs? Fairy Long Legs is. Alright. That's okay. Tremor doesn't help us very much against this guy, though, just to be honest. He's got a single stagger threshold and. Yeah. The issue is as simple as that, I think. You can't clash at all, that's a bit of an issue, too. You can clash a little bit. I really like that to just be land, though. I'll just go for the smackdown this turn, then. You can just bring the knowledge. Yeah, it'll work. Okay, that's fine. We lose the clash. Yeah, unfortunate. But we'll save that skill through to be a one sided then. We want skill through to do decent damage. It'll do pretty good tremor, too, which will be very nice to have, right? Nice little color invert thingy. Okay. See, this is a one sided. Uh, you clash all this turn? No, you can't jump for it because you'd actually do decently. That's alright. You can body set. And I might just yell at the chains of others here. That'll work. So if they're really weak and you make sure you can't you won't be able to do too well next turn. Also we can Mercer next turn, of course, but that's fine. A little bit, I'm sure. We'll probably just pull out regret or something next turn, right? <laughs> And you get to buff yourself to shit, so next turn Heath will be buff, Mercer will be nerfed. That's fine. I'll trade it off. The arm's like the only thing that does anything this entire fight. 
Like, I think it's like the, the head or the body or whatever it is will summon the clover, but I think that's the only attack that doesn't come from the body in this entire fight, or come from the left arm in this entire fight. Right. Okay, here's the plan. We're just gonna want to idea this turn. That's three behind, that's cool. Still actually rolling for your coin. We do this, we'll stagger you. And then we don't need to worry about clashing this turn. We'll need to worry about clashing the next turn and every turn afterwards, because we can't stagger you again, unfortunately. And we'll have to worry about the clover, and by then I mean I'm gonna ignore the clover entirely because it does nothing. There's got some bleed going on there. Interesting. Oh, wow, like, we don't have slash attacks for it. Might as well, right? Oh, no, it's a slash with additional damage. It does end with the two bleed points you're banging. That's right. Okay, cool. Well, luckily, you're not doing much of anything this turn. Uh, you don't have anything great going on either, so we guess we'll just rhyme shank you. Sure, it's all three. So that's solid. We'll have, like, some singing. It's not a lot. We don't have any actual singing stuff going on beyond the portrait, right? So, it's fine. We win the clash, though. We do some minor bits of damage. Minor bit of stack will damage from the singing, but because we didn't corrode it, it's only five singing. Five singing counts out of, you know, ten singing, eight counts or whatever. Nice tails. Uh, sure. Tremor burst. Let's go. Helps out. We actually have some tremor counter collection going on here. Yeah, you've got five tremor. What do we have that inflicts a tremor count? Huh? I thought we just didn't have tremor count on basically the entire team. What helped us out there? There was nothing for tremor. Oh, it's this. I'll say embrace it's one tremor count each turn. That's right. I forget about that. It's like, it's, it, I think it's more so an oversight than anything, that that's how it works, because, uh, basically, whenever you inflict damage with Oscillating Bracelet, it, it reads it as, so it reads it as, like, a, uh, so, this thing about, like, this, if we, say, you inflict, if we get, like, 20 Tremor count, go, tr 20 Tremor going next turn, it'll be 20 Tremor 1 count next turn, and it adds to the count as well. It's only supposed to be potency, but next turn Tremor always inflicts counter. It's true for any status effect. Anytime you inflict a status effect that uh, is next turn, it always counts for at least a one baseline of count. Like if you're like, oh yeah, five rupture next turn, it'll also be one rupture count because you're just adding one rupture count alongside it. So basically, also in Brace just keeping a Tremor count neutral because we don't have any Tremor versus that actually reduce Tremor count on this team. Which is the only like big issue with, you know, also, you embrace that's like maintaining tremor. It, there is quite a few tremor bursts that do reduce count, but if you don't have any of those tremor bursts, you basically are just net neutral tremor count the entire run. Pretty cool. 90 damage, you're like 17 HP, alright. Yeah, we kill you. We're killing this guy. Mercy almost got staggered, but upheaval does the job. Finish him off with the classic baseball man himself. And Clover just explodes, but that's a victory. Let's go. That simple. All-star baseball team, we, hit, we got a world record, we hit a home run, all those sports terms I'm not great with. And given my levels, up the past level 62 now. So I'll, I'll, I'll definitely grind a bunch this week to make sure I'm 120. I'm probably going to make sure I'm above 120, just in case, right? For the bit. Not because I'll actually need to be above 120, but because I get a bunch of boxes that way, which is funny. But yeah. For now, we're solid on Battle Pass levels. I'm not too concerned. I'll enjoy getting my 20 yellow boxes, and only 20 yellow boxes from the next 20 levels of Battle Pass. Which means I'm going to have to pull for Gregor. So yeah. As for always, my actual episodes of Kanto 6 will be posted like each morning for the next couple of days. It'll probably work in four parts to see how long it is, but uh Yeah. I'm not excited to have to do more pulls. My lunacy isn't like the best. Well that's fine. We'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll manage, I'm sure. We'll manage. 
but yeah, that is our all-star baseball team at its at work. Um, it sure was something, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.